there, I'm Sinosopterex. That's Sinosopterex. It means Chinese lizard wing. On account of the fact that I'm from China. And I am one of the first bird-like dinosaurs from 130 million years ago. My arms, ta-da, are covered with neat little feathers. Whoa! Oh, but I can't fly. The feathers are just there to keep me warm. However, I can run really, really fast with my powerful legs. Hey, what are you doing? It's super cool. All you have to do is tuck and you slide all the way down. Eh, it's awfully far down. And though I may not be very big, I'm all carnivore. Mmm, meat. Come on, let's go! Uh, uh, don't rush! Me! Oops! <laughs> oh well, I have the longest tail of any theropod dino. Sometimes, it gets in the way. Cool! Yeah! Well, it's my turn now. See you later! Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Hi! I'm Velociraptor! Yes, the famous Velociraptor! Velociraptor! It means speedy thief. See my long tail? It lets me run really fast. <sighs> but not for too long. Didn't know I had feathers, huh? I need them to keep me warm. Because, well, 85 million years ago, it sometimes got pretty cold around here. And where is here? It's what is now known as Northern China. I'm not very big either. If you compare me to my cousins like the T-Rex. But like them, I'm a meat eater and I walk on two legs. But I'm just about the size of a big turkey. <laughs> I hunt in a pack. In fact, this whole time my pack has been watching us. Eva! Shh. <laughs> uh, nothing like spending a day playing with your friends. Eight, nine, ten. Ready or not, here I come. Bye. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm a woolly mammoth. You can call me Wooly. My name says it all. I'm big, I'm fuzzy, and I'm lost. I mean, really, how can I find my herd if everything's covered in snow? Welcome to the Ice Age. 100,000 years ago, I guess. Eep. Hey, what's the big deal? <laughs> My long shaggy hair and my thick layer of underwool keeps me dry and warm. So throwing snowballs won't do anything! Plus, I have special skin which oils up the hair to make me even warmer. Yip! Aha! I have an idea. Mmm. I use my super long tusk to shovel the snow to uncover this yummy grass. How will I ever be able to eat it all by myself? Ha, ha, ha. I'm a little bigger than the biggest elephant, but my ears are much smaller than an elephant's. I come from the cold northern part of the world where scientists have found entire woolly mammoths, hair and everything frozen in the ice. People usually get mixed up and think I'm a dinosaur, but I'm really an Ice Age animal. Eep! Okay, wise guy. 
<laughs> he got me all right, but at least he knows where the herd is. I thought you knew where they were. Smilodon! You're staying away from the tar pit, right? Okay, Mom. That's Smilodon. It means knife tooth. Welcome to the Ice Age, a million years ago, and to my tar pits. The dinosaurs have all long vanished. Mammals like me are all over the place. Stop! You can't go this way. Don't get mad at me. You should know that I am a little bit smaller than a lion, but there are some differences between us. Like, I'm much, much heavier. And of course, my choppers are huge. Oh yeah, I'm built for ambush hunting. What the? Ugh, you've gotta be kidding me, a puddle car? All kinds of animals wander into the tar pits and get trapped. But not me, because... Ah! Because your mother told you not to go near them, right? Thousands of Smilodon fossils have been found in tar pits in what is now known as North America. In California, we're the state fossil. Don't forget to wash behind your ears! I hate taking baths. Well, maybe you should stay out of the tar pits and you won't have to have so many. Oh, hi there. I'm an Abelothorus, one of the most ferocious of all the dinosaurs. Achoo! Excuse me. Anyway, I'm one of the fiercest of all the carnivores. That's a meat-eating dinosaur, even though you probably haven't heard of me. This is the late Cretaceous period about 75 million years ago. By that point, a lot of dinosaurs had already established their reputations, like Tyrannosaurus rex, Triceratops, Allosaurus, you know, the really famous guys. It's harder for me to get noticed, but that's not because I'm not ferocious. I have a pretty wicked roar. Want to hear it? <laughs> you have to pardon me. I've got a really, really bad cold. One of the things that's unique about abelothoruses is that our heads are mostly empty. You see, our heads are really big with large holes all through it called fenestra, which is great for smelling things like <laughs> afternoon snacks. But it also means that my head is like one giant nasal cavity. And so when I get a cold, it's a whopper. We abelothoruses are found primarily in this part of what is now South America. I hate it when I get one of these colds because there's only one thing you can do, and that's take my mom's advice. Get some rest and drink plenty of fluids. I have to get well soon because I want the whole world to know about Abelosaurus. Uh, uh, I'm okay. <laughs> Oh, hi! Uh, oh! Welcome to the late Cretaceous period, uh, about 140 million years ago. Ah! I live in the land that is now known as Argentina! Uh? <laughs> Yuck! That stuff tastes like, well, grass. Okay, as you may have guessed, I'm not a herbivore. A plant eater, like those Trubaria. I'm Gigantosaurus, the longest meat-eating dino who ever lived. You say my name like this, Jake and O. Saurus. It means giant southern lizard. <laughs> oh. Ah! Phew. I'm as big as a boat, and I'm just as heavy at eight metric tons. You're looking at the biggest head of any theropod that ever lived. But uh, I have the smallest brain. It's about the size of... of a banana. 
Ah! Hi! I found you! Ugh. The only thing that really terrifies us Gigantosaurus is little sisters. Okay, sis. Wanna go hunting? Yes! Will you do the roar for me? Sure, sis. Eh, she likes it when I do that. Ah, greetings. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Sonornithoids. A theropod is a bipedal omnivore, which means I walk on two legs and I'll eat just about anything, meat or plant. And welcome to what is now known as China in the Middle Cretaceous period. It is said that I, Sonornithoids, am one of the most intelligent dinosaurs to have ever lived. And many scientists have concluded that my brain is larger than other dinos. True, I'm not the largest dinosaur out there, but sheer size isn't everything. Take the modern turkey, for example. He and I are about the same size, but the differences between us are obvious. He's a bird brain. <laughs> It is said that I, Sinornithoids, am not only very smart, but also disciplined and precise, especially when I'm on the hunt. Here, let me show you some of my moves. Ha! This is a position I like to call Feathered Dragon Leaping. Observe and learn. Oh! <laughs> Uh, well, it seems I'm a little tied up at the moment. Please come back real soon. <laughs> have no fear, have no fear. The king of the dinosaurs is here. That would be me. Tyrannosaurus Rex, which actually means Tyrant Lizard King. And, well, that's me. <laughs> and did you know that a full-grown T-Rex, like myself, ta-da, is more than 12 meters in length? That's longer than a school bus. And when I stand up to my full height, I'm taller than a double-decker bus. The Tyrannosaurus Rexes weigh more than seven tons, you know. And I have the most beautiful teeth. Would you like to see them? Most vegetable-eating dinosaurs have small, bumpy teeth for chewing and grinding leaves and plants. But, well, you see, I am a carnivore. Uh, that means meat-eater, yum-yum-yum-yum-yum. And my teeth are perfect for, well, there's simply no other way to put this, for eating other dinosaurs. And the best part is once my teeth get a little worn down, they're automatically replaced. It really is a tremendous honor being king of the dinosaurs. 65 million years ago, we T-Rexes ruled the world, especially these parts of North America. Here, well, I'd simply love to stay and chat with you all some more, but you see, my subjects need me, and I need them because it's lunchtime. Oh, dear. Ah, my friend. Welcome to paradise. I am Baryonyx. No, wait, my friend. You leave too soon. Look around. Ah, take it all in. Yes, yes. Believe me, this won't last forever. Alas. Only 80 million years. Come, come closer. We will talk, you and I. Oh, um, but you are, how do you say, freaked out by my strangeness? My claws disturb you? My long, tapered mouth? I know you are as fascinated by me being a fish eater as I am. You see, with these, I can scoop out my fish dinner from the water. <laughs> And with the 90 short teeth I have in my mouth, I can eat it up. Yum. Yes, I know, I am very unique. There were not many of us. 
So come, we will soak in the sun of this paradise I live in. <sighs> Smell the perfume of the very first flowering plants. Ah! See the first butterflies. Ah, yes, that's it. Come a little closer. You begin to understand why I love it here, yes? Fine. Then go, go! There are other lungfish in the Cretaceous Swamp, you know? Just leave me be. But know this. You hurt me. Deeply. And now, I must stun myself. and welcome to the late Jurassic period 144 million years ago. You say my name, Torvosaurus. It means savage lizard. <coughs> Gee, what is going on with my roar box? I'm a theropod, which means I walk on two legs and I eat meat. A meat eater is called a carnivore. I am the largest meat eater in these parts. I'm one of the biggest theropods ever, over 10 meters long. And these thumb claws, they help me hunt for food. I'm from what's now known as the Midwestern United States. Yeehaw! Me, 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 me. All me. That's better. Now let me try a good one. Cretaceous period 70 million years ago. I'm a Gorgosaurus. That's Gorgosaurus. Mom! Now they're gonna think I'm just a kid. I can't wait till I get big. I'm going to be even scarier than my mom over there. Because that's what my name means, Fearsome Lizard. I'm not as tall as she is yet, but one day I'll be nine meters long. I'll be as long as a house. Gorgosaurus like me, Tyrannosaurus? Phew, that's a big word. But it has to be big, just like us. Imagine, we're in the same dino family with T-Rex. See all the sharp teeth? We're meat eaters, and our teeth help us chew even the toughest meat. I'm from what is now known as Alberta, Canada. So when I get fully grown, watch out. If you want to get big, you have to eat a good meal. And I've already called you for lunch four times. Yes, Mom. Gotta go eat. See you later. 